from now on, or just mixing in from now on, we've got degrees, but we're also going to introduce a new measure of angle measure, and it's called the radian. So you can have degrees or you can have radians, and I was talking about this with the GDC before, remember? Uh, when you go to mode, you've got a radian mode and a degree mode, and up until now you want it in your degree mode. So what is a radian? Let's introduce it. Let's say we have a circle center zero. Now what a radian is, so we have radius here, radius r. What I'm going to do is if I take, if I've got like a, a plastic tape measure that's sort of bendy and stretchy, and I've got this radius r, what I'm going to do is take that tape measure and measure along the circumference here, distance r, okay? And then we're going to connect that up and close that up. Now that's the shape of a slice of pizza, right? Do you remember what that shape is called? It's actually called a sector. We have a sector, we've got a radius and a radius, and that length along the circumference, right, or the arc length there is also radius r, and that defines this angle here, and this is one radian. One radian, and when we usually describe radians, we have a little c, and that little c means circular measure. So that is the definition of one radian. Now, how big is that angle? If we're gonna convert that into degrees, how big is that? Can I have a guess? Well, it's uh, somewhere between 45 and 90, isn't it? Somewhere there. How are we going to figure out what one radian is? What I'm going to do here is make a proportion. So let's say the ratio of this angle to this side length is one radian to uh, that length there, r meters or whatever it is, if it's in meters. So we're talking about the, radi the ratio of this angle here to the length of the uh, circumference. Now what if we're going to do the whole circle next? Okay, well, what's the full angle going all the way around the circle? 360 degrees. And what's the total perimeter of a circle? Okay, the total circumference of a circle, that is 2 pi r. And then we just solve this little proportion here, the r's will cancel out, and we're left with 1 radian is 360 degrees divided by 2 pi. Or that could be just one single number there uh, in degrees. There you go. What is that? 360 on your calculator. 360 divided by 2 and then also divide that by pi and you will end up with, and this is a rounding by the way, 57.3 degrees. So it's close to 60 degrees isn't it? So this is 57.3 degrees here. That's what one radian is. Now this is pretty useless. We don't use that much. What do we use? This is more useful here. Just from here, I'm just going to take this out and say 1 radian, 360 over 2 pi, that can simplify to 180 over pi degrees. That's useful. Now similarly, if I multiply both sides by pi, I'd end up with pi, sorry, that should be um, radians, radians, pi radians is 180 degrees. And then if I divide both sides by 180, I will get this, pi over 180 radians is one degree. In other words, let's just flip that around. One degree is pi over 180, done it again, pi over 180 radians. So these are the useful ones. Uh, one, you can remember that, that's, that's quite handy. Uh, you can impress people at parties with that. Oh, you know that one radian is 57.3 degrees? Only certain parties are. This one's handy, all right, pi radians is 180 degrees. This one's handy. One radian is 180 divided by pi, that will give you the 57.3 again. And one degree is pi over 180 radians.